Dame Dalla extracted cash to make it Dame Time, as Lillard called game with a dagger for the ages in the face of both the Aaron Fox and DeMontis Sabonis. Smooth talking Wall Street agent with a heart of coal. The only thing he cares about more than money is cash. However, prior to one of the greatest game winners, not just from Damian himself, but of all time, from a team perspective, the Bucks miraculously overcoming adversity consisting of being on the second night of a back-to-back, -back, being without third option Chris Middleton, and also after giving up both a late fourth quarter lead and a six point overtime lead against the fast paced plus 500 versus plus 500 team Sacramento Kings, showed us that Milwaukee's a top championship contender. Don't forget, the Bucks are still missing lockdown defender Jay Crowder in addition to Cash. More on the comeback and the buzzer beater is on its way. Just wanted to quickly say to those claiming Dame would have done the same thing as Steph if he was the one blessed with the Warriors system to start his career. The reason that talking point doesn't matter is that we can all agree who we'd want taking the last shot. I want Iguodala. In all seriousness, even after Dame and the Bucks displayed championship-esque unrelenting conviction when the odds were stacked against them, all that most people can talk about is Mike Brown sparking the newest meme with his laptop rant postgame. First it was Steve Kerr for the Warriors, then it was Darko Ryakovich for the Raptors, and now it's Mike Brown for the Kings. As coaches ranting about officiating has been the most popular trend of 23-24's campaign, next to bad officiating of course. Speaking of both rants and coaches, despite Adrian Griffin winning a challenge, and in my opinion, Opinion managing the rotations well down the stretch, plus despite Dame giving us hoop fans one of the most exciting buzzer beating shots in the history of the game, I found it extremely ignorant how certain so-called Bucks fans were instead of appreciating Dame, trash talking rookie head coach AG. Conversely against the Kings, Adrian Griffin had on point timeout calling to stem momentum, plus both 8 plus substitutions and end of game chess moves, playing Connaughton over either Portis, Andre Jackson, or fan favorite Marshawn Beauchamp down the stretch may have been what some Bucks fans were upset about, but the need for Pat's spacing and ability to play fast was in this case prevalent against a youthfully high-octane King squad. As a Raptor fan, Griffin was always an above-average assistant coach, and while he's going to have growing pains in his first season, appreciate that your Bucks are still all the way up as the second seed in the East with Griffin at the helm. Cut the man some slack, but more importantly when it comes to Dame, instead of blaming the coach in a win, Respect the world-class skill and stage presence you just witnessed from one of the greatest off-the-dribble shooters to ever step on a basketball court. I'm also going to make the not-so-hot take that Lillard is the clutchest player in the world right now. I'm proud to say I've been around to watch his 2014 buzzer beater to end Houston season. A three wins the series. It's Lillard! He got the shot off! his 2019 buzzer beater to end OKC season. Chance to send the Thunder home. Lillard, long range three, and it's good! And this most recent dagger to break Sacramento's heart. 5.2 left, no timeouts left for the Bucks. Here comes Dane. Three seconds, Dane pulls for the win! Even if you're a Rockets, Thunder, or Kings fan, who were on the other end of it, you have to respect the killer instinct and poise under pressure. It's especially telling about Dame's ability to stay calm under the bright lights that Milwaukee was down two, having could have gone for the tie, but had the credence to try to end the game at the horn from beyond the arc. As the time and score circumstance we witnessed is the most entertaining scenario in basketball, providing a stage for once-in-a-lifetime performers like Dame to fascinate audiences across the globe. To be fair, Lillard was hitting games saving shots all throughout the final stages, and in terms of clutch players, Damian is the best performer I've seen since Kobe. Dame's quick first step and ability to attack angles going downhill where he can finish around the basket with pristine finesse had the Kings defense backing off, and even in the clutch, Lillard was mixing in attacks effectively with his deep range bombs. More on the final play from the first year buck coming up. While Lillard stole the show when it mattered most, you also can't not give massive credit to the beastly core, even without Middleton, of Giannis Adetokounmpo, Malik Beasley, Bobby Portis, Brooke Lopez, and Campaign for helping Dame out with 104 points combined between the five of them. Pretty big luxury. As looked at in yesterday's Milwaukee upload a few hours before this game, 
the Bucks being the fourth best defensive rebounding team in the association proves they're making the hustle plays, and right on cue, their ability to limit Sacramento's second chance opportunities was prevalent, improving them to top three in that category, just behind two number one seeds in Boston and Minnesota. We also mentioned in my last video that Brooke Lopez's defensive rating was middle of the pack among centers, but showing you Lopez can still show flashes of his 2023 first team all D-esque self against Sacramento. Knotted up at 88 in the late third queue, Brooks going to trigger a momentum shifting sequence where he rotates from drop coverage to the weak side to first stop Vizenkov's layup and force the short kick out to Len, who Lopez instantly pivots back to, stays right with, and lines up the merciless swat. Better yet, Portis collects the rebound, shows off the handle, and makes it a crucial four-point swing. Don't forget, after Malik Monk missed a pair of free throws up four and with under 20 seconds left in OT, we wouldn't be here if Lopez hadn't have drained this dagger to pull it within one. For franchise staple Bobby Portis, it was outings like the one against Sacktown which showcased how much better he makes Milwaukee when he has it going. The Bucks improved to 5-0 and when BP scores 20 or more points. That said, regardless of whether or not Coach Griffin gets the luxury of Portis being in a scoring flow, the rebounding and toughness from Bobby have been severely underrated factors to Milwaukee being tied with Oklahoma City for the NBA's third best record halfway through the season. Portis was quietly tied with Damon Giannis for a team most nine made field goals. Additionally, Bobby was tied with Giannis for a team high in rebounds and tied with Trey Lyles for a game high in plus minus. However, Dame Dalla's cash money flame throwing is what we'll all remember from this day. That and for fans in Wisconsin, beating the Cowboys to advance to the playoffs. For Dalla, his coach would highlight his origins as a shooter being most contributive to his shot falling through, and would highlight Dame's leadership down the stretch to fuel his team over the top collectively. Griffin went on to say, He's a shooter. That's what shooters do. He never lacks confidence. He has that quiet strength. He doesn't talk much, but when he does talk, people listen. He's a leader. He shows it through his performance. He was vocal in the timeouts, especially in overtime. Dame Time moved into 12th place all-time in buzzer-beating game winners with his fourth, as the only players with more of them are firstly, fittingly, Andre Iguodala. I want Iguodala! To go along with John Stockton, Vince Carter, Kevin Garnett, Gilbert Arenas, Paul Pierce, Joe Johnson, Kobe Bryant, LeBron James, and Michael Jordan. It really shows you how much of a legend Lillard is that he's right behind those 11 under-pressure assassins. Factoring in he's ended seasons entirely with two game-winning playoff buzzer-beating daggers, and also considering what he just did to Sacramento, I want to know where Lillard ranks all-time in terms of clutch players in your opinion. Best answer gets next video's commenter shoutout. Top 2-5 to five commenters with the most shoutouts by June 21st earn either a free NBA shoe or jersey of their choosing. So leave your take on today's question to compete in Community Speaks. Today's shoutout goes to KB. Who says regarding whether or not Milwaukee's built for the postseason? The Bucks are serious, bro. I think the slow pace of the playoffs is going to play right into their hands. They still have Jay Crowder to come back, so their perimeter defense should improve. And then Giannis and Dame on a bad night will give you 50 points and 10 assists, which is scary. On an average night, Giannis, Dame, and Middleton will give you 70 points and 15 assists. This team is deadly. Substantial points right there from KB. Great take. Appreciate every answer. DFlow signing off.